Deep learning is this branch of machine learning loosely inspired by how the brain works. We have had experience building software for deep learning over the last few years. Although it was initially a research project, we've since collaborated with about 50 different teams at Google and deployed these systems in real products across a really wide spectrum of areas. Today, it's used heavily in our speech recognition systems, in the new Google Photos product, Gmail, in search, We've really taken all that experience and built that into TensorFlow. TensorFlow is this machine learning library that's used across Google for applying deep learning to a lot of different areas. Doing both artificial intelligence research and deploying these production models. They're really powerful at doing various kinds of perceptual and language understanding tasks. These models are able to actually make it so computers can actually see and are actually able to understand what is in an image when you're looking at it, what is in a short video clip and that enables all kinds of powerful product features. Machine learning is the secret sauce for the products of tomorrow. It no longer makes sense to have separate tools for researchers with machine learning and people who are developing real products. There should really be one set of tools that researchers can use to try out their crazy ideas, and if those ideas work, they can move them directly into products without having to rewrite code. On the research side, the goal is to bring new understanding to existing problems, advance the state of the art on existing problems, understand new problems that weren't considered before. Then on the engineering side, the goal is to take those insights from the research community and use them to enable products and product features that wouldn't have been possible before. Part of the point of TensorFlow is to allow collaboration and communication between researchers. It allows a researcher in one location to develop an idea and explore it, and then just send code that someone else can use on the other side of the world. We are making it a lot easier for humans to be able to use the devices around them. We think having this as an open source tool really helps that and speeds that effort up. So we expect developers to be able to do a lot more than they can do today. We think we have the best machine learning infrastructure in the world, and we have the opportunity to share that. And that's what we want to do here.